So what I want to talk about today is congruent figures and, and really more specifically congruent triangles. And, and what does that mean? What does congruent mean? Well, we've seen congruence before in, in terms of angles or sides, but we haven't seen congruence in terms of figures. And so here's what that means. If I have two triangles, let's say this triangle and that triangle, okay? Two triangles are congruent if they are the same triangle, okay? So if I could take this triangle and lie it exactly perfectly on that triangle uh, so they matched up exactly, then they would be congruent. Okay, and it's fair game to flip it or rotate it. That's perfectly fine as long as I could somehow get those two to, to be right on top of each other and be an exact match. They would be congruent to each other. Okay, and what we learn initially here is that to know that these two triangles are congruent, and I better label these, let's go A, B, C, call this one D, D, and F. Okay, for those two triangles to be congruent, really I have to know that every single angle in this triangle is congruent to any corresponding angles in that triangle. And the same thing for the sides. All three sides and all three angles of this triangle have to be congruent to the corresponding uh, three sides and three angles of this triangle. Okay, so I could write this like this. First, the angles. A is congruent to, well, A matches up with F. Hopefully we can see that. So A and F, those two angles would have to be congruent to each other. And I could say the same thing for B and E, because those are corresponding angles. They would have to be congruent. And my last one, C and D, those would have to be congruent to each other. But it doesn't stop there. Okay, that's just the three angles here, congruent to the three angles over here. Same thing for the sides now. Okay, this side down here would have to be congruent to this side right there. AB would have to be congruent to FE. And finally, this side, the third side, for each triangle, has to be congruent to this one over here. Okay, if I know all six pieces of information, three angles, three sides of this triangle are congruent to all the corresponding six pieces of information over here, three sides, three angles, then I can say those two triangles are congruent. And now, I need to write a congruent statement. Okay, what's that? Well, that means I'm going to write down the triangle ABC is congruent to this triangle over here. But, and here's the key, order is important. So if I call this one ABC, I need to call this one something in a corresponding order. Okay, so I started with A over here, means I have to start with F over here because those are corresponding uh, points. So, start with F. And then from A, I went to B. So from F, I go to E. And then finally, my last point D. Okay, so that would be the correct uh, congruence statement for those two triangles. I could write it differently though. I could have started out, I could have called this one triangle CBA. And the corresponding order over on this one would have been D, E, F. Okay, uh, and, and I could call it something else also. I, there, there's really no limit on the first one I write down, I just have to make sure that the second one is in the same corresponding order as the first. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now this, uh, this is great, but to show these two triangles are congruent, you don't actually have to show all six things. What we're going to learn next is uh, some shortcuts um, to where you have, have uh, less information uh, that defines the triangle. And, and can show congruence that way. So stay tuned for that.